Velvet chain softly hold Keep me from straying to another one's arms Locked in your love I will remain I don't want to be free from your velvet chain Velvet Chains, Gary Morris, what an awesome song that is. I always just love that song. It's just a fun song, and it's real simple and real short, actually. So uh, chorus and and really just, uh, uh, I guess, one verse. I mean, might might break it down, might call it two verses, but it's, it's, it's real short. And then it just jumps right back into the chorus again. But anyway, my name's Keith Williams with Fretmore Guitar Lessons, where we fret more stress lessons. Make a whole lot of music, and we're going to make some music today fretting on this uh uh, Velvet Chain song, and uh, so anyway, uh, it's just a three chord country song, kind of we like right there. I'm telling you, it's just E, A, and uh, B7. So I'm going to show you these chords here, and we'll get right into this thing. How about that? All right, they're E chord right there on the first fret. We got uh, third string, and then second fret, fifth string, and fourth string. We're strumming, strumming six there, all six strings. All right, show you the E chord I do here is third and fourth with one finger. And then uh, the B string, the second string there, on the, on the second fret uh, with the second finger and strumming five. Now, if you can't do that, A, you can still get with uh, get all uh, those three strings with three fingers. So fourth, third, and second, you can get those in there. Still the same strings, just three different fingers instead of two. So if you want to do it that way. All right, and then uh, the B seventh. All right, uh, over here on the first fret with the fourth string. So it's similar to the E. Uh, it's just up one string there. We're still on the fifth string, second fret. Then we drop down to the third string, and then we get our pinky down there on the first string of the second fret there. And again, we strum, uh, we're strumming five there, okay? And then back to E on six, all right? Okay, there we go. We're going to keep it uh, it's a pretty simple song. And uh, uh, like I say, just uh, it starts out uh, real, uh, just you can strum it to kind of get the tune if you wanted to. Um, can't remember if they do that or not. I'm trying to think. I think he may just start singing. Uh, but uh, a lot of times you want to strum it just so you get in the right key. But So you just jump right in there. But anyway, hey, appreciate y'all tuning in once again. Uh, be sure and give us a thumbs up on this one if you could. Subscribe to us uh, if this is something you like. And uh, check down below for the description there and uh, some links to some things you might enjoy. They'll take you somewhere anyway. So hopefully... Uh, find something you like down there and uh, anyway appreciate y'all tuning in like i say and uh, be sure to check out our other videos uh so here we go uh velvet chains i'm gonna strum it one time all the way down all six strings and we're gonna sing this thing all right velvet chain softly hold i'm just doing a i just up uh, i'm plucking that sixth string down up and then the fifth string Locked in your love, I will remain. I don't want to be free from your velvet chain. Okay, and stops there and then jumps into the uh, uh, verse. Uh, so, also on the as far as the strumming, like say on in the, in the E, we're six down up. Fifth string down up. Then when we're in the uh, A, uh, it's fifth and fourth. So pluck the fifth down up, fourth down up, and then uh, the B seventh, same thing. Fifth down up, fourth down up. Now a lot of times I don't, I, you know, I'm giving you that pattern to kind of as a guide. I don't always stick with that. Obviously, you have the same tempo, but I, I may not always. Well, you know, I may, you know, I may kind of strum and not pluck those strings, but um, it, it's it's a great guide to go by as a beginner and to kind of get used to that. I, I mean, I try to stick with it to an extent, but I, I, you may see me go off the grid there a little bit and not not stick to that uh, plucking those strings. But anyway, that's that's kind of what I'm gonna try to do in this lesson anyway. Okay, so all right, so I'm I'm, I'm in the wrong key there. All right, so. Uh, uh, going to the uh, the verse, like I say, there's kind of two breaks 
breakdowns here as far as a verse, but it's, I think it's just really one verse altogether, okay? And uh, so again, it just stops after after that uh, chorus, and it says, you keep the door wide, keep the door wide open, I'll get a minute, and you don't lock me. Never ask me where I've been. B7 that stays there for now. No, I'm faithful. Yes, I'm bound to be. Your loving arms put these velvet chains on me. <clears throat> okay, now what I'm doing there is uh, uh, I just I'm adding it. Really, it's a, an E sus. <clears throat> I'll come up here and show you here. It's just an E sus. Adding that pinky to the uh, third string. Just not really a hammer on, you're just putting it down there and then coming right off of it. And I do that on a lot of songs where I'll, I'll do a sus chord there. It's a good way to end a song, and it's also a good way just to, to end a portion of the song, like in that case, we're ending the, the uh, verse going into the. Uh, uh, the chorus, so it's kind of a, a transitional stage there, I guess you might call it. Just something I do. You don't have to do it, uh, but uh, anyway, I like doing it and kind of changes changes it up a little bit. I'm sure there's probably some on the record. There's some more lead stuff going on there, but uh, anyway, uh, that kind of gives you a little something different without you know a whole lot of extra stuff. It's great for beginners just to add that. Okay. And then we go right back into the uh, chorus again, um, and uh, uh, and it's the same same way. I, there's no use really going over that again. Uh, but anyway, uh, you can go back and listen to the, the way I do it. Uh, in the same way, the only only difference, I guess. Let me let me tell you about this chorus is is it uh, instead of uh, how the other one starts, it's velvet chains. It's it's it's. Uh, there's not a lot of music going on right there. Uh, where the, the this chorus here, uh, it goes out of that uh, verse. Velvet chains on me. Velvet chains on the whole. Okay, so you're strumming the whole time. Okay, and then uh, once it gets through with that chorus, then it starts uh, and does the chorus just like in the beginning. And it's it's more kind of acapella there at the beginning there where it's just velvet chain softly hold me and it goes back into the chorus again the last chorus and then uh, uh, and then it just repeats that last line uh, after it does the chorus I don't I don't wanna be free velvet chain. us again there at the end of the song. So that's it. That's the whole song. Velvet Change, what an awesome song. But like I say, it's just really just the chorus three times and then that, that one verse and that is it. It's a very short song and a very simple song, three chord country song. And so anyway, I hope you enjoy that. Maybe you remember that song. I don't know, but uh, I got to think about that one the other day. And, and there's some other ones. I'm trying to think of some other of his songs. There's one about rain, I remember. Uh, but anyway, I might have to look those up and, and listen to those again and try to do some lessons on them. But anyway, uh, once again, appreciate y'all tuning in. My name is Keith Williams here with Fretmore Guitar Lessons, and, uh, and we'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks. <laughs>